before we get in today, I'm here to bring you my October wrap up. For the month of October, I read four books, which I'm actually very, very happy with. October was a very stressful month for me, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm glad that it's pretty much almost over, and that also means the semester is almost over. But anyway, the four books I read, I did really, really enjoy, so let's just go ahead and jump into the wrap up. The first book I'm gonna talk about was probably my favorite read of the month, and that is Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. This is the second book to the um, Six of Crows series and also the final book. It is a duology and oh my goodness what an amazing concluding novel. This novel was just completely bonkers good. If you're not aware, Six of Crows is a YA fantasy series following a whole cast of characters who are kind of all very gray in morality. They kind of do things that are very much illegal but because of this, they're a very dynamic group to read about. You root for them, you root against them, you want them to make better choices. It's just honestly amazing. The first book they are tasked with breaking into an impossible place. And the second book is just a continuation of the first and it's amazing. I laughed, I cried, I cried, I cried, I laughed some more. So good. I hope Lee Bardugo is not done with this world. Maybe done with this story, but like I need more from her and them. Um, ultimately, I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. I just thought it was absolutely fan-freaking-tastic. So good. Like, seriously, couldn't talk more highly about it. The next book I completed this month was the Proustopia Big Book Club Pick of the Month for the month of October. And this month we are working with Bloomsbury, and that is Stealing Snow by Daniel Page. We've already done the live show, and I've also done a full non-spoiler review for this book, which I'll leave linked both down below. But this is a dark YA retelling of the Snow Queen tale. It follows our main character Snow. And at the beginning of the novel she is residing in a, uh, a mental hospital where she was admitted by her mother. There she struggles with trying to understand what is real and what is an illusion. She dreams every night of this magical tree and ultimately at the beginning of the book she gets pulled through this tree to another world where she discovers that she in fact has magical snow powers. I enjoyed this book. I thought it had some really interesting elements. I really liked snow. I liked the no the beginning of the novel when it was set in that hospital. I also enjoyed the writing, but ultimately I did have some problems with the book as well, which I go more in depth in my review. Ultimately I gave this book a 2.75 out of 5 stars. I thought it was a really fun retelling. If you're interested in this, I would definitely still recommend checking it out. The next book I read was another highly anticipated one, and that is Hammer of Thor, the second book to the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard series by Rick Riordan. This is the second book to Rick's second uh, God-centered series, or rather his third, because there's also the Egyptian one. But this one follows Norse mythology, and it follows Annabeth Chase's cousin Magnus, who at the beginning of the first book, his mother is mysteriously murdered, and he's actually living on the streets for a time. This story is just, again, full of humor, mischief, adventure, kind of what you expect from a Rick Riordan book. And also, what I have been really loving from Rick Riordan lately is the amount of representation that has been present in his novels. Uh, this particular novel has a gender-fluid character, as well as one of the main characters is also a Muslim, which I just think is just great to see diversity, especially in younger-leaning books. I always just really, really appreciate that. This it's just, again, a super fun, super well-informed novel. It was just, it kept me on the edge of my seat. It kept, I laughed, I was nervous, I was on the edge of my seat. It was just a ride that I always look forward to from, um, from Rick Riordan. I've read so many of his books, so this is kind of a given. I knew I was going to enjoy this, and I did. So, thanks, Rick. Then I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. And the last book I got to this month was such a treat, and that was Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling. This is the illustrated edition that came out this month, and boy oh boy was this so much fun to read. As you know, the illustrations are absolutely stunning. They're done by Jim Kay, one of my favorite illustrators. And I just love when these come out because honestly it just gives me a reason to reread a series that I just love so much. And I honestly feel like it really does offer a unique and different reading experience with the illustrations, so it's just fun to kind of have Harry Potter at a new angle. Obviously I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars. That shouldn't be much of a surprise, but yes, yay to, you know, new Harry Potter releases, which gives me a reason to reread Harry Potter again, you know, you know. Alrighty guys, those are all of the books I read in the month of October. Not as many as I had hoped, but I still read four, so I'm happy with that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful Halloween, and I will see you guys soon with another video soon. Goodbye!